So I'm going to do a demonstration today of how you can set up your hammer mill to your pellet mill. Okay, this is the 198C model. It's the smallest one we have with a cyclone. And the cyclone is directly fitted over on top of our hopper for our 260 model pellet mill. Both of these are three-phase electric. Both of them have been pre-greased on both machines. Make sure you grease them every time you use them. So what we're going to do is we're going to operate both machines simultaneously. We're going to load the hammer mill with the alfalfa or hay. We know that the moisture content in here is already yes, that is good. It's at around the 12 and a half, 14 percent, but it makes pellets as soon as it's hammer milled. So what we're doing is putting the hammer mill right here, and we're going to see what we can do as far as a one-step process making pellets. So let's get started. Balance come out, one step. This is this machine, this, this hammer mill actually can outperform the amount of product that the, the I mean, I'm sorry, the pellet mill can actually perform more than the hammer mill can. So it's easy to keep up to it. You would not want to do the same setup, putting this on top of a 120 or a 150 or something too small to keep up with it being fed. Um, very important, when you start the process, make sure that this, both machines are empty before you actually turn them on. Always turn on your pellet mill first, get that going, as you saw, tighten down the wheels, then turn on the hammer mill, 
Once that one gets warmed up, start feeding it in. And there you go. There's your very, very, very miniature one-stop do-it-all shop. Have a good day.